Well, this is Kevin Polkey, and welcome to The Journey. Uh, as we've talked many times, The Journey is uh, episodes that either have guests come on and we talk about their stories of uh, setbacks in their life or obstacles that they had and what they learned from that, or it is maybe reflections that I've had as I've been contemplating different things or just observations that I've had um, uh, just navigating through life. And today I'm going to just share a little bit about um, another observation. Um, recently, um, I've had the opportunity to work with high school and middle schoolers, um, staff as well as, as students. And one of the talks that I've been doing is the talk titled, Be the Hero of Your Story. And the idea behind it is that we all have the opportunity to, to be the hero of our own story, or we have the mindset that we are a victim in our story. You've heard me share before that um, this mindset is the basis in which we uh, navigate through life and as life will uh, just naturally uh, events will happen, um, setbacks will happen, obstacles will occur, they appear to be um, uh, blocking our, our progress, blocking our way of just doing ordinary life. And sometimes we get consumed with the idea that the obstacle or the setback is the story. And I think that idea of, of recognizing that that the obstacle is not the story, the obstacle is part of the story, and that what we learn as we're navigating through that obstacle um, and how that obstacle then becomes a teacher is really the opportunity for expansion and growth. But for some of us, we may have grown up in the idea that um, we are um, a victim of circumstances. Now, without a doubt, there are definitely individuals who have been victimized. And that is not what I'm referring to in this particular case. Um, I'm not referring to uh, individuals who've been victimized by some, uh, some type of perpetrator, either the perpetrator being an actual individual or the perpetrator is a system or an institution. Um, I'm referring to um, the mindset we have after an event happens. Uh, just recently, I started re-watching uh, Schindler's List. And, um, and I, had, I had seen it when it originally come out. And, and this was probably you know, 10, 10 or so years ago that I, that I watched that movie. And um, being able to uh, reflect on that and reflect on how in 2021, how some of those uh, concepts of, of fear, as well as um, with, in this case, the, um, the, I guess it would be racism or uh, of being discriminated against because of their Jewish faith, as well as their ethnicity, um, that they were then uh, you know, quarantined and captured and were exploited by, um, by, the Nazi, by the Nazi Germans. And so watching that movie unfold and the sense of powerlessness uh, that, I, that I gathered as, as they were um, fearful about what was going to happen, angry about what was happening, but didn't feel like that they could do anything about it, um, I can't even imagine what that must, must have been like. So when I refer to this idea of having a hero mindset versus a victim mindset, it is, there are obviously legitimate situations where someone has been um, traumatized by someone of a position of power, or um, there's been some type of situation in which a, a person was either in an accident or some type of horrific natural event happened, and then they were a victim of it. I'm more referring to what do we do with the event after it's happened? We know that the fact of um, a traumatic event, a, a sexual assault, a physical assault, 
um, domestic violence, whatever may have been, or something that happens in business um, or in, in employment or at school, the event happens. And that in itself may, uh, may be traumatic and, and is that initial uh, delay of our progress, delay of, of doing life. But after that happens, what we do with it, how we tell that story, how we um, add to that story or take away from that story, that part becomes an aspect of choice. There is this part of the narrative that we uh, talk about regarding what may have happened. So this idea that, yes, something has happened, that's the factual part of it, but the narrative we tell ourselves, the story that we tell ourselves, is maybe differentiating between a victim stance or being the hero of your story. So what are some things that we can do? Um, I think first, um, we have to recognize regardless of what the event is or what the situation is, is that um, acknowledge what has happened and start identifying what part or parts that we may have played into it. Now, maybe there has been no, no parts that we played into it. It's only what we did in response. And sometimes there was not much that we could do in those scenarios. Other times there may have been things that we did that led up to it. Um, I know for me at a, at a former place of employment, um, I remember walking into my manager's office and saying that I choose to no longer be naive. In other words, I choose no longer to look the other way when it came to uh, how, the, how the payroll was done and how I was being compensated. The truth was is that I had avoided really looking at that because it was confusing to me. It was unfamiliar to me. Um, I was uncomfortable with it. And so I had just avoided looking at um, and looking and doing a deeper dive into it. And then at some point I recognized it was my responsibility to have an idea of what was happening so that I could be informed enough to ask um, good questions. And that was the part that I contributed to that part where I said that I no longer am choosing to be ignorant or naive about it. So again, this idea of choosing to face our own uncomfortableness and face our own fears is an aspect of being the hero of our story. Where a victim stance is that they think their situation is unique and they want someone else to fix it or someone else to rescue them from that scenario. Again, I don't wanna talk about, I'm not talking about people being victimized um, because that is uh, an aspect that definitely does happen. I'm more referring to is what do we do after the scenario happens, after the situations happen. And this idea that no matter what it has, there's been multiple multitude of stories that individuals have been able to um, overcome and um, actually learn more about themselves than they would have known if they had never gone through it. I have referred to um, Viktor Frankl's uh, Man's Search, Search for Meaning and his um, book that he uh, literally was putting together while he was in um, a concentration camp uh, during World War II. He was he was locked up because he was um, uh, he was Jewish. He happened to have been a practicing psychiatrist prior to that, and he had a belief or a theory that he was working on regarding the the idea of meaning, and that if we have uh, have a clear understanding of what our meaning is or our purpose is in life that we can endure almost anyhow. And little did he know that that would be a foreshadowing of what he was going to have to um, test and, and explore even deeper while he was in um, the concentration camp. And that um, knowing that he was going to um, uh, going to survive the his experience in the concentration camp is, is and then be able to share what he um, what he had been learning about uh, logotherapy um, that that if you know and live a why you can almost endure any how 
And in his case, the, the starvation and the beatings and the fear of not knowing what is going to happen to him, along with other aspects of what was happening within, um, within his time there amongst other prisoners, um, must have been an a, a extremely powerless situation. And, and physically, there was a lot of aspects that he was powerless, but he could continue to keep the mindset that he was going to um, prevail and endure to tell his story about what he learned while he was in the concentration camp. So we are going to talk some more about this particular topic of how to be a hero of your story, how to first avoid the victim stance and, and filling the narrative of how you've been, uh, been a victim and when something bad happens. But instead, how do you uh, look clearly at what part did you, that you may have played into it? Maybe there was no part you played into it. What things could you possibly learn about this or how have you been exposed to more things, but looking for the opportunity for growth and for development, regardless of how, how severe the setback is. And that may take time. It may take a lot of healing and recovery to get to, but I do believe that that is the case for all of us. Again, thank you very much for, for being here today and uh, just taking a, a few minutes of your time to listen to this idea of how do we as we continue to do life and we're trying to transform and, and develop and grow through our life of this mindset of being a mindset of a hero versus a mindset of being a victim. You guys have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.